Today we're in the town of Tonawanda, set back just a little bit off of Englewood Avenue. Now this little jewel behind me, this caters to kids whose wheels are always turning. actually been in Buffalo for over five years and we generally would go to schools we'd visit with different uh, after-school programs and different camps we'd have but now we have our own brick and mortar typically our classes are about 15 kids per class and we have generally uh, a teacher and an assistant for our, our classes but we really thrive in the hands-on experience where we're actually working with kids one-on-one uh, -on -one and allowing the kids to work together with other people. So there's teamwork and there's cooperation going on and also they're able to communicate what they're doing with others, which really helps with learning. The kids tonight here have used some simple materials to make a water-powered boat, you know, things that you probably have at home, like a, a solo cup and a straw and even a, even a styrofoam tray. And wait until you see what they've made. Well, there's, so what happens is you pour water into here, it shoots out there. Oh, wait, I'm seeing bubbles. When it comes to engineering, some kids know they really are good at it and they like doing it and they're very hungry for what they're doing and you see that all the time in every class you're gonna have a kid who is really into our design problem. they're really into designing they're really into asking questions they're really into improving things and we see that a lot especially in um, older kids and that's one of the things that we really like to focus on too is that critical thinking and getting into the mind of that not to say that you can't do it when you're younger you definitely notice it when kids are young and they're ready to do some engineering and they're ready to problem solve they're ready to try new things and we see that especially when we are uh, teaching kids who have never been exposed to engineering they realize oh this is something that I really do enjoy and this is something that I want to keep doing and that's one of the things that with COVID I feel like we weren't able to reach as many kids but now kids are opening up and now they're saying oh well I've been inside so much let's try something new trying engineering is definitely one of them that is beneficial in all walks of life I feel like Gosh, I love that so much and um, it is a great thing that you can do with the kids of course they've got spring break happening at engineering for kids all around town and um, that is just something you definitely want to go check out because they're playing all sorts of fun fun games and it's really awesome you can give them a call 716-391-3545 engineeringforkids.com forward slash buffalo to explore some more but yeah they're, they're doing things like minecraft lessons and making a paper roller coaster which is Great for me because um, I like any roller coaster that I don't have to go on, and I think a paper roller coaster doesn't sound like something I'd have to actually get on. <laughs> 